Hey guys, what's up? Shin0555 here, coming at you with another video. Today's video, we're going to be looking at the AYN Odin 2 base model and how well it performs using the Yuzu emulator. That's the Switch emulator. So we're basically going to try to play Switch games on our Odin 2 base. Um, and one reason why I want to make this video is I've seen a lot of people do some showcases uh, on YouTube showing off Switch capability on the Odin 2, but it's almost always the Pro version, which is the slightly um, more powerful version of the Odin 2. So I'm using the base version, and um, so just note for the entire video, everything you're going to see is from a base Odin 2. And uh, we're going to show off some uh, Switch emulation and see how that works. And, um, and in the video, I'm going to show you um, how to change the settings to get the best kind of possible um, Switch gameplay. Um, so again, the game's running, actually getting some of them booting, um, stuff like that. We're going to show off. I have a bunch of games I want to show off, actually, so this might be a little bit of a longer video. Um, other than that, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. If you guys have requests um, about games you want to see or whatever, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I'm open to taking them. Um, other than that, not much else to say, so let's get this video started. All right, guys. Here we are. This is my Odin 2 base model. So everything you're going to see here in this video is on an Odin 2 base. Um, so yeah, we're going to see how well the Switch Yuzu emulator um, works on this thing. So let's go over the settings first. So what you want to do is um, swipe down here to get to this menu. And you want to make sure in performance you are under high performance. Uh, I already am, so that's good. And you can also check off the fan to be on smart. Um, that'll help. So that's easy. All you do is swipe down, make sure in high performance mode, easy stuff. Now what we're going to do is we are going to go to settings here. And we are going to scroll all the way down to Odin settings. And now in Odin, Odin settings, um, there's one thing you want to make sure you... Um, check off and it's near the bottom here and it's this virtual RAM swap. You're gonna wanna hit that and it's gonna be default to off. You want to switch to swap 4G. And now um, you should note, this is actually uh, from an update that um, AYN did on the Odin. So if you don't have this option in your Odin settings, update, go to your, um, the updater and make sure you are using the latest version of um, whatever firmware the Odin's on. So, so if you don't have this option, it's because you didn't update your Odin. That's all I want to say. Uh, and this definitely does help. Um, and you'll see later on. So you need to have this on, uh, the Swap 4G. So I'm going to close this. And when you click on that option, it does take a minute for the Odin to actually like switch to it. It's not like a just a simple like click on and it's good. It'll take like a minute or two to like load in. So, but once you did that, that's all good. What we're gonna go to now is you want to go to controller style right here. You're gonna hit A. And then um, usually it's default on Xbox. Um, I like it on Xbox, but if you're gonna play the Switch, you have to set it to Odin. And the reason why you do this is because there's no key mapping in the Yuzu emulator yet. Um, really strange that there isn't one. But if you set your Odin uh, controller style to Odin, then um, your A and B, X and Y buttons are the same as they are on the Switch. So there's no like flip-flop. If you're on Xbox, they switch them around and there's nothing you could do to change it. So to get that problem fixed, you're gonna just go to Odin. And I'm going to hit close. And now I think if I hit A is B and B is A now. Um, yes, that makes sense. So now we're going to get out of settings. That's the only thing you need to do there. And now we're going to go over to the Yuzu emulator. And we're just going to load it up. And as you can see, I have a bunch of games already pre-installed. Uh, there's a whole bunch I want to show off. 
So this might be a little bit of a longer video, but before we start playing games, what you want to do here is uh, go to your settings, then go to um, advanced settings. And then in advanced settings, you want to go to debug and you want to go to this option right here, CPU uh, backend. Uh, it should be on default dynamic. What you want to change that to is NCE, Native Code Execution. So basically this will make your games perform better. This is, um, and you have to be using the latest um, version of Yuzu. They just recently added this into Yuzu. So make sure you're using the latest version of it and you should have this option for the Native Code Execution. You wanna make sure that is on. So I have it on, that's all good. And then also what you wanna do is go to the GPU driver manager. And I have a custom turn up driver. You should be using like the latest version. I have a 24.0.0. Um, so I'm gonna click on that one. Uh, and if you want to, uh, I, I, I'll, I might leave a link in the description. They're constantly like changing. So literally, if you just type in on Google, turn up driver for Switch, um, you should get the latest one. So I don't want to link the one I'm using because uh, it might be outdated because I downloaded it a while ago. But um, yeah, so anyway, we're now ready to play some Switch games. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch that I want to test out here. Um, some work, a lot of them don't, but, um, let's show it off. So let's start with, like, a really easy game. Um, well, let's start with a, a slightly harder game. Let's start with Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. This is gonna take a second to load. But as you can see, the game's running. Uh, this game actually does work. So I'm just gonna kinda skip along, up. Oh. See, this is again why I don't recommend getting the base model to play Switch games. This game should actually work. Let me just double check. There's a weird, whoops. I keep forgetting A is B and B is A. There's a weird glitch here. I don't know why it happens, but sometimes when a game resets and like shuts down like that you have to go back and then like switch the driver again you you sometimes have to do this like every time but uh let's try cross tag battle one more time might just had a bad boot it did take a while to load so it might have just been a bad boot who knows hopefully uh the problem resolved itself again yuzu is still fairly early on in like its lifespan so you're gonna get a couple of up. Uh, of course, when I make the video, it doesn't want to load. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah. So you will run into problems like that where games will like turn on, not boot. It's it's usually like a hit or miss. Um, what am I doing? God damn it! I keep forgetting A is B and B is A. So we're gonna go here to uh, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Oh, I might have to like switch the drivers. Surprisingly, this game worked really well. Well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna make sure I switch the drivers on this one because I guarantee you it resetted. Yep. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. It just doesn't like just stay on it. It's annoying. But I was shocked that this game worked well. Um, hopefully it works all the way through. What did it say? Press the... Press the A button. Oh, my, my controller's all switched up again. That's weird. Oh, well. We'll, we'll. we'll figure it out. Oh, it's because I'm using it on Xbox. I should be using it on um, Switch mode. I wonder if I could actually, like... I'm actually going to fix that right now.
Boom. Okay, it's still not right. Oh, well. But, um... Yeah, no. Bomb Rush Cyberfunk works. Um, I'm still very early on in the game. But, um... From what I played, it works. And I think if, like, you can run, like, the early part of the game... Um, you can pretty much run the entire game. Now, this is probably not the most demanding, but it is still super cool that you have, like, this type of game playable on the Odin 2. And th again, base model Odin. So, this is super impressive. But yeah, it works. Um, it looks fine. There's no graphical issue. Okay, maybe a little bit. I saw something flat. Oh, that was because it was graffiti. Bam. This game is amazing, by the way. Uh, definitely my game of the year from uh, last year. But as you can see, the game's running fine. I actually know what I could do. Let's turn the brightness up. Yes, yeah, so you can see it a little bit clearer. I usually keep my Odin like dark. I like dimmer um, handhelds when I play them, so I usually keep the the lights down. But as you can see, the cutscenes work. Um, and this game runs fine. And again, like, this is one of, I wouldn't say this is the biggest area in the game, but it, it's not a small area. So, if it can run this, I'm pretty confident you could probably play this game in its entirety, uh, this way. So, super happy that game worked. So now, again, I need to go back to, okay, good. Yeah, if it restarts, it, like, defaults back to the normal one. So, that was Bomb Rush. Um, I, I'll just tell you, Final Fantasy VI, or V and VI work fine. You don't really need to worry about those games. Um, but talking about Final Fantasy, uh, let's go to Dragon Quest. Okay, so Dragon Quest Treasure um, Trackers, I couldn't get it to work. It just doesn't boot. I don't know why. But um, let's try out Dragon Quest. Because this one's funny. Um, because if you know anything about Dragon Quest XI, there's kind of two ways to play the game. And one way doesn't work, the other way does work. And it's pretty interesting. Uh, so we're going to skip through this. Probably going to be super loud. Yeah. The speakers on this thing are amazing, by the way. So I have two files here. One's a... Uh, 3D and one's 2D. Let's try the 3D one first. Gotta skip all the cutscenes. So the cutscenes work fine. Um, and then the game crashes. So. And since it crashed, we need to go back to our driver manager and redo that. Um, but we're going to click it again. Building shaders, loading it back up. So playing the game in 3D mode does not work, but you can play this game on 2D mode. And I actually got it working. There were a couple graphical glitches, but I definitely think it's playable. Um, so if you really, really need to play Dragon Quest XI uh, on your... Switch or on your Odin 2, uh, this is probably the only way you can do it. Well, technically, no. I'll actually let the cutscene run because, um, look how good this looks, dude. I'm gonna actually lower the volume. This is actually super loud. Um, look how good this looks. Like, I'm amazed it's actually able to even like play the opening, but we're not gonna sit here and watch the whole thing. Several years later. See, you can play it in 2D mode. <laughs> which is super fucking cute. Uh, and as you can see, there were a bunch of, like, graphical glitches as you, like, move on. There's this weird, like, almost, like, TV static. 
as you go on, but if you really need to play Dragon Quest XI, and you only have an Odin 2, I would recommend getting the 3DS version. <laughs> but you can play the, the Switch version on Yuzu if you are, um... Yeah, you can see there's a bunch of, like, graphical glitches here. Uh, popping up as we move along, but nothing game breaking. Like I could, like if I again, if I had to play this, I think this is playable. And again, you can't, uh, you, and when you switch to like 3D, it'll crash. But um, it's not getting in the way of any of the text, so that's good. And um, the battles work too. I don't know why it's like visually glitchy like this. Okay. I, I just kind of want to get into a battle, then we'll uh, stop. But yeah, no, I thought this was really funny that you can't play it in 3D mode, but you can still technically play the game by playing in 2D mode. I thought that was cute. Monsters. And as you can see, we're going to get into a battle here. And we get in the, the classic 2D... Boop. And the battle works fine. It works the way it's supposed to. And we're not getting any, like, freezing or anything like that, so I think we're good here. Um, again, I thought that was a little funny little, uh, little thing. I actually did get Dot Hack GU to work for a little bit, uh, but then it, like, unexpectedly crashed. Kind of like the way, uh, Cross Tag Battle was. But, um, yeah. Um, so another impressive game, uh, is Kill a Kill If, actually. So let's load that one up. Because this game surprisingly works really well. I didn't think this game would work, but, um, it did. It's another, like, Arc Systems work game. Now loading. See, if I was, like, a good YouTuber, I would, like, fast-forward <laughs> this stuff, but I'm not. Oh, did it freeze? Ah, uh, of course. Of course, when I'm, like, making a video, it's gonna freeze on me. So, again, I wonder, can I just smash the home? Get out of it. Now we're going to need a reset. I don't know why the fan goes like super hard when you have to do a forced reset. There we go. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know why it does that. But again, this is kind of the experience you're going to get if you have a base model and you are trying to do um, Switch emulation. Again, some games work very well. Other games don't. Um, it's really kind of like a crapshoot. Um, I think all the settings are still good. I'm just going to switch back to Xbox controller because I think it's somehow switched back. And I'm going to reset my wireless controller to make sure it is on Xbox mode. I have this really cool. I actually should make a video on the controller that I'm using. It's a super... Oh, hey! Dragon Quest was still on. Look at that. Um, boop. Alrighty, let's switch to our custom driver. So, I got Kill a Kill working, um, we're gonna take a break off that. Cause, like, it's weird, cause some games will work. For example, like, One Piece Pirates Warriors 3, I was able to play this for the past two days, and then I suddenly wasn't. Um, and basically what happened with, like, wait, Kill a Kill If, the game would kinda just, like, lock up and freeze. So, I don't know why that happens, but, um... Yeah, it, it just happens. I don't know if it's because, like, you're playing so many games. You might have to, like, exit out of the emulator, re-go back in. But, um, 
Yes. Oh, wow. We're almost at 20 minutes. So I'm going to uh, do a little wrap up and just kind of tell you what games don't work that I know. My Hero Academia 2 does not work. Um, the Like, it works, but the graphics don't work. You just get, like, this weird green screen. And you see, like, the health bars and stuff, but you don't actually see any of the game. But the game plays fine. Like, you can hear your character moving around and punching and stuff like that. You just can't see anything. Uh, Storm Connection just um, closes on startup. You can't even start it. Neo World Ends With You just does not start up. Pokemon Snap works um, last time I played it. So we might try that game out. Nier Automata, I got working and playing, but there's a bunch of visual glitches that make the game not playable. Um, but I'm really impressed at how well the base model pl was able to play this. Um, like I said about One Piece, Pirates Warriors 3, um, I, I'm not able to boot it up anymore, and I don't know the reason why. Um, but I was able to play the first two levels on this the other day. Um, and at, like, separate times. I played the first level, beat it, saved the game, exited out, came back to it again, um, was able to boot it up again, beat the second level, and now it's just not booting up. I don't know why that is. Uh, Pokken worked, but this thing glitches out when you enter your name, and it, and it doesn't, like, read it for some reason, so you just get stuck at that screen. Um, don't know why Pokken doesn't work. Power Rangers Battle for the Grid worked last time I played it. Ruby Arrowfall worked last time I played it. Uh, Seven Pirates H worked um, last time I played it. SNK Heroes, this game works, but the models don't show up um, for whatever reason. Sonic Mania works fine. Uh, Star Ocean uh, R works fine. Uh, Super Mario Wonder doesn't boot up for some reason. I was able to play it one time, and then now it doesn't boot up ever. Um, Super Mario RPG works, uh, Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge works, this one doesn't boot up for some reason, and Ukulele works, but there's a bunch of visual glitches, so it's really not playable. Um, so let's play, uh, some, somewhat of an impressive game. Let's play, uh, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. I know this one worked last time I played it. This is a smaller game, too, so. But it is fully 3D, so... Even though it's like a smaller game, it's still impressive that I could pick it off. And I think general rule of thumb, if you have the base model of uh, the Odin. Um, let's pick it. Uh, well, all the buttons are mixed up, but I'm going to go with uh, my like A team. I actually played this game a lot when it, when it first came out. I freaking love the Power Rangers. Let's get a stage where there's like some stuff going on in the background. Um, I think, it's, I think this one. But again, some games work. So, really tamper your expectations when playing on, if you have the Odin base model. Switch really isn't that playable. And the best way I could think of, um, think about it. Don't buy it for Switch, and just think of any Switch game that you do get working, like, consistently. Um, just think of that as, like, a bonus. And, I, and also, fun thing about, uh, RJ here, you could use Wolf Wheel and then hit the... Or how do you do it? Okay, I don't know. You can throw the wolf wheel, is, is what I'm trying to say. I forgot how to do it. I forgot how to do it. But you can sell, it works. It freezes up every, or like, there's a little bit of a lag um, sometimes, but nothing, nothing too crazy. So, I'm definitely going to say this game works. So we're going to exit out. Um, boop. I'm actually going to like exit out of the whole thing and then reopen it up just in case that was like screwing with stuff. And again, this emulator is super early. So um, there are going to be a lot of like graphical or like a lot of issues like that. I think I my prediction is by the end of the year, um, 
this is way more playable on both the base model and the um, pro model of the Odin. Um, that's my thought. I think by the end of the year, they're really going to get something going. Um, let's play SNK Heroines. Uh, again, this game doesn't work, but very similar to like Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. It works, uh, or not similar, but like, and similar in, in the case that it works and runs. Supposedly. I guess not. You might be able to like home your way out of here. Sometimes when it freezes. Nah, it doesn't look like that's the case. Hard shutdown, hard reset. But again, it's really, uh, really strange on like what games work, what games don't work. So it's really by like a case by case basis. So I would recommend you, um, as the dogs bark in the background, uh, I really recommend you just kind of like buy the, or get the games and just see if they work or not. I do want to test out one piece and then we'll end the video. Because again, I was able to beat the first two levels of this game. And like it loads up, it's building the shaders. And then it just kind of crashes. Oh, up, oh, up. Oh, oh, did we get past it? Yeah! Oh, I don't have it. Uh... Oh, come on. Sync up. Okay, I don't know why there's no volume. Okay, there we go. I guess there's just no volume at that part. I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be a sound effect that played there, though. But as you can see... Okay, the audio is going in and out. I don't know why. Let's, let's just go to a free log. As you can see, I beat the first, or if I go to Legends log, I beat the first two levels of this and then just like stop booted up for some reason. I don't know why. But let's just uh, show the game right. Oh, I'm so happy it came back. Again. This is kind of the experience you need to have when, like, playing Switch games on the Odin 2 base. Is, like, sometimes the games will work, sometimes they won't work, sometimes they'll boot up, sometimes they won't boot up. So, again, I, I, I think it crashed. So, again, it's really hard to say, um, or it, I can't recommend buying the Odin 2 base model to play Switch games, unless you're playing like very low-end Switch games, like Sonic Mania, um, Final Fantasy, like the Pixel remasters, or um, even like Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, I'm shocked works really well. So yeah, that's kind of the, the experience using uh, the Yuzu emulator on Switch. So this video's been on long enough. Um, yeah, sometimes the games work, sometimes they don't. It's kind of the, the name of the game. So again, I definitely recommend, I don't know what this is. Like, what is that? This usually never, like, came up before. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the, the, the experience of using Yuzu on the Odin 2 base. Would not recommend getting it for Switch emulation, Again, uh, after this video is done, I'm actually going to delete all, like almost all these games. Like, uh, I'll keep uh, like Blaze Blue, Bomb Rush, Final Fantasy, Kill a Kill because like that game should work. Pirates Warriors because that game should work. Maybe Pokemon Snap. Keep Power Rangers. These two games, Sonic Mania and Star Ocean, and Super Mario RPG worked as well. And turtles but the rest i'm probably gonna just take off i just put them all on here just for the sake of the video and like testing but um yeah that's pretty much it so don't expect a lot from the odin base but don't expect nothing either 
So, uh, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you guys have requests, I might make another video. If I get enough of them, I'll make another, like, showcase video. And, uh, just show you a, a truly honest look at, um, Switch emulation on the Odin base. So, uh, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, thanks, bye. Later.